headed to go meet the boys, Hunter and Will. We're gonna pick them up at CCA, uh, Community Christian Academy. Early start to the day, we're gonna be catching some white bass out on Kentucky Lake. These boys are excited. They say they love to fish, so we can't wait to see if they can put uh, their money where their mouth is. What's up? Hi. How are you? Good. You ready? Yeah. You better be, it's early. Boys ready? Yeah. It's only five in the morning and y'all are acting like you're sleepy. You're already drinking a Red Bull? Mm -hmm. Man, you're not gonna catch no fish drinking Red Bull. Camera guy finally showing up all the way from Nashville. We're going to catch some fish. <laughs> Everybody's tired. Born. White bass is what we're after. Yep, that's what we're catching white bass today. Get a introduction back here to the boys. Hunter. Will. And I'm Jace. <laughs> we are headed to meet our friend Matt Carter and get on his bass boat. I went flying off the boat. <laughs> yeah. Get some, anxious? Some might say. It's pretty awesome. feeling anxious at night and stuff and you're trying to get to sleep uh, Isaiah 26 3 and 4 might be a good verse for you to just like quote over yourself it says uh, he will keep perfect peace he who puts his trust in the Lord he is your rock uh, forever and so I'll just quote that he will keep perfect peace whose mind are set on you and so you say that over and over and just let the peace of God wash over you as you as you go to sleep I'm gonna highlight it. It said 23. Isaiah 26, verse 3 and 4. Okay. You have to like cut in that clip. Jack. From the flag. Jack. Jack. The flag. Where I'm going is going to be just south of Jonathan Creek, okay. uh, kind of in the secondary. Okay. Uh, we'll be probably from here to here to that barge from the bridge. We'll be this side of the Hi, bridge. Good. All right, man. <laughs> Go get them, boys. <laughs> Ready? Yes, sir. <laughs> Really cast, okay? So, you you real right-handed? I real left-handed. Left-handed. Yeah. Here's your right-handed drill. Here, I'm gonna come back here. Left-handed drill. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do, okay? Mm -hmm. Whenever you drop these in, we're gonna we're just basically gonna kind of drop it straight down, okay? Mm -hmm. As you drop it straight down, you're gonna let it go to the bottom. When it hits the bottom, you're gonna stop it, okay? You're just gonna kind of. Jerk your rod up just a little bit and then ride it down. Okay? You're gonna rip it up and then you're gonna ride it down. Just like that. Got it? Look at there. Never caught one of them before. Never caught a sauger? Mm -mm. Just don't put your finger in his mouth, you see his teeth? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jump. Yellow bass. Can't see where I got him. Oh, it's right in his mouth. Okay. Have you ever caught them? Let me, let me no. show, let me I'm show trying you. to get him in his stomach because I know he's got pricks. Yeah, let me show you. I, I yeah. usually grab a towel. And here's why on these yellow bass. Their, their gill plate right here yeah. is like razors. The back one won't, won't bother you, but that one, if you grab yeah. a hold of it, it'll cut you. Mark and Jace are spectating from over there. Right now. 
Oh, look at that. He didn't even say a word. I don't even know I had him on. <laughs> really? So you guys throw right over here on this, yep. on this other side. Need to grow. <laughs> Through the towel, <laughs> dude. That's what you call throwing in the towel. Throwing in the towel. <laughs> This one sounds bigger. Oh my god. <laughs> what is that? It's an Asian carp. <laughs> Holy crap. Thought that was a freaking shark. <laughs> it's an invasive species. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That is huge. What in the world? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this thing. He got an Asian right. carp. Give me a little bit of slack. No, sir. Things are nasty. That was huge. Right. <laughs> I did too. <laughs> We're eradicating the carp. Alright, let's see here. What in the world? It, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How many pounds was that one? You think? Uh, let's say 15, 12 to 15 anyway. 40. So you did a number on your hook. <laughs> Put this back here in case you catch another Asian car. How's that? I won't bend your, bend your hook <laughs> back in. No, he didn't break it, but he bent it. There you go. Thank you. I think you've uh, got the biggest catch so far. <laughs> There you go. There we go. We'll put that in the kill. You got one? Yeah. I said I got one. <laughs> I didn't say it was big. It's just like glass out here. Good one? I don't know. That's a better yellow. We'll, we'll keep that one. See that tail? Oh, got a double. Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Where'd my fish go? <laughs> he hopped on his he line. He jumped on mine. Oh, he's bleeding oh. bad. Thanks. Yeah, that's a double piece later. You got a big one? got a double. Oh. What's going on with the doubles? With the, whatever that freaking shark was they caught earlier. You ever seen one of them? No. You've never seen an Asian carp? No, I've never seen I've never even seen a picture of one of those. It's a delicacy. Yeah. That's why they threw it back. He said it was probably 15 pounds. 15 pounds of seasoned bones. <laughs> That's a good one right there. Look at that. We'll oh, I didn't there. even. You want me to replay it? Yeah, pretend that again. <laughs> Oh, oh, he got it. There a... he is. <laughs> Crazy. He got one. What? On demand. Wow. That's probably the biggest one yet, right? That's probably the best white bass we've got so far. There we go. Quick release. <laughs> what kind of fish was that? That was a drum. <clears throat> Just called a drum? That was a yellow bass. Come on into the middle of the boat. Yeah, right here. There you go. Oh, oh and that's why. You all right? Yep, my need pliers. All right. You got one on the line. There we go. That's a good yellow. Hey, let me see what you it's caught cool. here, buddy. You know, that's a new record. That's a big one. I didn't have any idea. Man. What? Catching the little bitty boys. That's my bait. <laughs> much longer than what I just realized, but I watched the blind just the other night on Pure Flix. It's good. It yeah. It is. That was real good. Got one on the line. See a small one? 
Yeah, he's, he's a little bit more. He's bigger than I thought. Yeah, that'll clean. He's right. <laughs>people this one what's your predictions no I don't think he's very big he's not bad he's a lot bad. got him all right yeah all right another one and five right here that's 
probably a pretty good sign to me that my cup runs over. <laughs> Reel them in. No. He's not big, but he's fighting. They're, they're fun to catch. Yeah. That don't clean. He's probably the biggest yellow. There you go. He's not bad. He's a cooler fish. Get that out of your mouth. Shirt. All right, so been out fishing today. We didn't get skunked. Caught several fish, but uh, why do y'all think that we were able to catch the fish that we caught? Primarily. God put them on the earth. That, that'd be priority one for sure. Um, what I'm referring to is, is, is my graphs though. Mm. We, you know, we've gone to some places today and I told you right away, you know, we're not going to fish here because I'm not seeing any fish, right? Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty reliant upon my graphs and being able to see fish and, and the, and the graphs show me where the fish are and how the fish are set up and, and, uh, if it's going to be worth, worth fishing there or not. Right. Mm -hmm. So two of my two verses in the bible that's with some of my my favorites is, is found in proverbs three five and six do y'all know that one by chance not off the top of my head so proverbs three five and six says trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding but in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths right so on a, on a similar parallel i'm i'm letting my graphs give me direction and guidance on the water and if if it wasn't for those graphs showing me the the shallow parts on the on the lake versus the deeper parts or maybe where there's a, a sandbar or stumps or something then i might i might hit them you know and that, that'd be really bad to hit hit something in the water or hit a shallow area of the water uh, if i wasn't relying upon those graphs right so on a similar parallel in life uh the bible is our graph the bible is is what's given us direction every day and there's nothing that we go through in life that we can't find guidance and direction through the bible just like that graph has given us guidance and direction on the water the bible's given us guidance and direction through life so you know always remember no matter what you do in life no what no matter what journey you're on or what journey you're going to be on if you put your faith and trust in the lord and lean not to your own understanding, but you let him and his word direct you. He directs your paths. He's going to keep them straight. That don't mean life's going to be a bed of roses. He tells us in the book of John that, that in this life we're going to have tribulation. There's going to be tough times, but uh, his grace is sufficient, and he's always going to get us through it. Word. Yeah, he's nice. He's probably the second biggest one I've caught there you go. today of this kind. It's a big one. Yeah. He's not big. Little bitty boy. That a good place. It Little is. bitty boy. Itty bitty. Oh, he's big. He's bigger. Oh, yeah. He's a big old one. That's a big one. Is that the biggest one now? I think so. New biggest white. We'll buy you lunch today. Wonderful. See if we can get you one. Um, I will eventually. <laughs> he got his fish. There you go. Get it in the boat. Like, pumpy. Hmm. Hey, boys.
Y'all did good. 15, 20 fish. That's a wrap. Man, Mr. Matt, just the... Holy cow! <laughs> Goodness gracious! Slipped yeah. right off that thing. Gosh dang it. That was actually a, a really... Convincing fall. Really amazing. <laughs> he, he really did fall. <laughs> yeah. just learned how to swim today. <laughs> good job, Jace. That was pretty good acting. Pretty good so acting? We'll have to look up Bill Dance. Fun for the fam. Yeah. Well done. 23. Change the taste of your catfish. After you after you fillet it and you cut the rib out the rib cage out, you take this little piece right here, mm -hmm. whenever you pull on it, pull huh. it all the way out. What <laughs> in the world? Makes a big difference. Okay. That's interesting. You ever, never. Eat, you ever eaten raw catfish? I haven't eaten cooked catfish. You never eaten cooked catfish? <laughs> no. Are you serious, bro? I'm dead serious. No way, dude. You haven't been to Big Ed's either, have I you? I haven't had any kind of cooked fish or anything besides like sushi. So yeah. You just had raw fish? It's yeah, yeah fish exactly. Uh, thank you uh, just so much for uh, just a great day out on your on your lake, Lord, and, and your creation. And uh, Lord, thank you for the harvest of, of all the fish. Uh, Lord, thank you for Matt. Uh, thank you for uh, uh, just the time and uh, um, him being available to um, take us out today, Lord. And uh, just God, it was an awesome day. We just thank you so much, Lord. I lift up Matt's daughter Emily, Lord. I pray for uh, continued healing there, Lord. Um, I'll be with our family. Um, and uh, God, we uh, we just love you so much. Thank you for Will. Uh, thank you for Hunter. Uh, Lord, I pray that um, they, uh, when they're out in the outdoors, that they just see how big of a God you are. And, and that, Lord, that they can look at their lives and know that you have a greater and a bigger plan um, in their lives. Uh, um, Lord, uh, we're, we're all created in your image. And I know you got a big plan for Will and a big plan uh, for Hunter in their, in their future. And, and Lord, I just pray these two boys will continue to uh, love you and, and strive to be their best for you in all things and, and be obedient to you, God. Uh, Lord bless this food to our bodies, and again, thank you for such a great day. In your name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's see what we got here on camera. Nice looking pie. Cheese. Y'all know Mark likes to fart a lot, so we're gonna prank him. We're gonna prank him. Spray it in your seat. Oh, that's what's on the table. Be quick though. On his table. On his seat. Fart spray. Sounds terrible. <laughs> oh my gosh. Real smooth. How are you feeling? I feel pretty good. But, uh. Well, clean your stuff up. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> are y'all doing a video or something? No, we were just I was just getting up. reactions to the day. We should fight, Jay. Thank you. Your back hurt? Stomach's gonna hurt. That was a pretty good. Pretty good fall on the boat. It was good yeah. acting. Isn't it amazing? We got Jimmy Houston Jr. Jimmy Bill, Houston Bill Jr. Dance, Bill Dance Jr. The Dance Man. Yep. <laughs> Any wrap up words, guys? <clears throat> yeah, what was your favorite thing about today on the lake? Uh, you gotta look at the camera. Uh, what? Well, <laughs> <laughs> what? What was the question? <laughs> Dumb and Dumber over here. We got Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> George Street 3000. Okay, what was, what was my favorite part about being... Stop it! <laughs> what was my favorite part about being on the lake? Yeah, what, what, um, was your, what was your highlight of the day? Don't pick your nose while you're on video. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> what? What are you doing? <laughs> I walked over there to fart. I don't trust you. <laughs> I just walked over there on far. You got something running down your leg. Yeah, no, I don't. Catching the fish was fun. Well, that was really good. <laughs> yeah, good job. Way to he be really, creative. He, he, he really gave, good on video. Okay. He gave like a good message on Proverbs 3, uh, 4, 5, and 6. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. So tell us about the message. Um, he was telling us about how, just how like we trusted his radar on where the fish were. 
and where we knew where to cast and try and catch fish. We have to trust in God, just like in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, where it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your under understanding, and He will make your path straight. Um, if we trust in Him with our life, and not just aim randomly like we would if we didn't have a radar for fishing, um, we might not, we, we probably won't catch anything. Or we, we have a better try if we if we lean on um, him. Fine, fishing, you know, got to get away from home. Been a whole busy at home moving and stuff. It's good to get away for a little bit. Yeah. It's refreshing, peaceful. Yeah. It's a good day. It was a great day. Thankful to be out on the water. Enjoyed Matt sharing a testimony and sharing the word with us. And you just put some crap on my leg. <laughs> Dude, it's fart spray. <laughs> Did you put that on my leg? <laughs> yeah, oh gosh. That's so terrible. That's awful. <laughs> Dude, that's horrible. He's been spraying it all day. You just so you. You better not have it all sprayed on me. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> it on you Dude, it's on my leg. You need to lick that off. Bought it off of Amazon just for today. He's been waiting on this moment. He's been living it up. He's been thinking about it all day long. Yes. I've been spraying it. He's all been day spraying long. it on the boat it's, all day. I've been smelling it. Was I know. Too open out on the water. No, he thought he was being slick. <laughs> no, I don't want to give it to you. No, I don't give trust it to you. Him. Give no, it to I him. know him. Give it to him. I ain't doing it. Well, I'll give you your first ring back. Don't worry. Yeah, after you like chase this me with it. This one's not even. All right, y'all ready? Yeah. No, he's not spraying it. Yeah, I'm ready. They say uh, this fart spray tastes like watermelon. And so we're gonna try it today. Ready? Come come up here, guys. Let's watch that. this. Watch this, ready? Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Figured that would happen. They just had to move it up so this jet ski can get gas. Oh, oh. Lord! <laughs> that's not the Lord, that's Mark. Oh, fart gosh. spray. Oh god. <laughs> Are you serious? Right in my eyeballs? That's crazy. All right. Oh, wow. You're, you're... It went in my mouth. I had to wash it all off. Hey, guys. Man, thanks for watching this episode. A big shout out uh, to Matt Carter with Hook 'em Up Guiding. Yes. And, man, it's been such an awesome day. These boys caught a ton of fish. Next episode, we're going to be down in Florida doing some seawater fishing, uh, saltwater <laughs> fishing. All right. Are we going to do this? Whatever. Yeah. Going to go catch some sea turtles? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this episode. Big shout out uh, to Matt Carter with Hook 'em Up Guiding. And man, it's just been such an awesome day. These boys have caught a ton of fish. Hey, B. Uh, watching out for our next episode next month down in Florida where we do some salt water fishing, deep sea fishing. It's going to be great. You don't want to miss it. Hey, share this video with somebody. We'll see you next time.